Lithuania, Lithuania, Lithuania. A lot of people want to come to Lithuania to study, but what are the actual benefits that you get here as a student? That is what I'll be addressing in this video. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kaina. In this channel, I share with you information on how you can come to Lithuania, what happens when you come to Lithuania and how to live a life here and my journey as a foreigner living in Lithuania. In this video, I'll be sharing with you what are the actual benefits that students can get if they choose to come to Lithuania for studies. I have selected six main benefits. I think that these benefits cannot be denied. They are proved, they are tried and proved. <laughs> I say tried and proved like there's somebody trying and proving it. But seriously, guys, these are the six main benefits that I know that you get as a student if you're studying here. The number one benefit that you get here as a student is that your certificates are internationally recognized. I was living in a different European country before I moved to Lithuania and some of the certificates and studies in that country I was living in previously were not recognized internationally. So some people that were studying there, their certificates will not be recognized when they leave that country and which is sad and which is something that a lot of people actually don't know that the, some countries their studies are not recognized outside that country that they're studying but in lithuania your studies your certificates are recognized internationally that's one of the benefits and i think is something that is amazing and that you can benefit from if you come here to study but two advantage that you get is that lithuania is in the eu obviously this is also why the doc why the certificates are recognized because it's a recognized country they are in the system they're in the european union and it means that you can travel to other european countries guys this is actually an awesome advantage because there are some countries <laughs> guys we are living in this europe and i know that there are some countries that if you're living in those countries you can't actually travel to other countries you don't have because they, they're not in the eu like lithuania is in the eu lithuania joined the eu since then people that are living here can travel easily to other countries within the eu they travel freely even if you want to move for example to canada you want to get a visa to america it actually provides you like all those embassies are here and it provides you access to those embassies so that you can apply and visit those countries most students in lithuania are able to go to other european countries for their erasmus so erasmus studies is basically going to another universities in europe to study there for a semester as most students do that for erasmus studies or internships so erasmus usually lasts for uh, six months or for the semester one semester you can go to another country and do studies there like studying another university that is not your university because you're studying in lithuania also in that light you can do internship in other countries not only lithuania you can go to other countries and the erasmus body actually they provide students funds to be able to live in those countries and different countries have different prices that they give them uh, for i think uh, most like scandinavian countries are more expensive so they give students more money there and for example if you're going to latvia which is also like a baltic state that is not far from lithuania the prices that they pay students there are lower and i think this is actually a good opportunity for students to go to other countries meet other people you know have different connections travel to different places and actually live there and experience life in a different country and it opens your eyes and your connections and your mindset to things that are happening in europe so i think it's a great opportunity that students can travel within europe but also get to do internships or do erasmus while they are studying in lithuania the number three benefits is that you get a two years uh, residence permit guys residence permit is such an important thing if you're living in the eu because countries in this europe right even though they're in the eu before they can issue you that residence permit card huh, it takes forever like if some people don't even get their cards until they finish their studies which is really really like it's something that <laughs> people don't talk about but you need to be aware of this some countries in the in europe that are in eu they make it so difficult for students that are studying there to get their residence permit but that's not the case in lithuania if you're studying here the immigration system is pretty clear and i've actually said in my things i love about lithuania is that the immigration system is clear they put the documents they put the requirements it's just as it is like if you provide the documents they issue you the documents they issue you the residence permit without any issues me an international foreigner living in lithuania i will tell you that that's a benefit because be able to work because sometimes when you have a visa or when you don't have a permit you're not able to actually do a job you can't work and because you have a residence permit you'll be able to apply for jobs and be able to work in lithuania as a student number fourth benefits 
in Lithuania is affordable accommodation and transportation. Guys, when I say affordable, right, I think a few years ago I would have said affordable everything, affordable living cost. But eh, Lithuania is not that affordable anymore. Hmm. Lithuania, I, I think that Lithuania is competing with Germany right now. Seriously, Lithuania is comp competing with other European countries when it comes to the cost of living. Like things are expensive i think we we among the countries that have the highest inflation rates now in 2023 and like since 2022 and now and like is, things are expensive i'm serious like i need to remake my <laughs> uh, what i bought in lithuania like the food expenses seriously things are expensive i don't even want to start like focus on it on this video three years ago i would have said affordable cost of living affordable everything but that's not the case anymore in lithuania but i will tell you that still university accommodation still affordable for students so if you're living in the student house the things are still affordable for you and transportation for students costs literally only five euros and 89 cents and i think that's fantastic i don't think you would get that anywhere in europe so that's one thing i can tell you that is still affordable your university accommodation and the transportation for you as a student okay and obviously there's still other things like living like food and things but those things are not um in fact they're expensive in fact i don't even want to say they're affordable food housing like housing not student accommodation but regular apartment and buying a house in lithuania all those things are quite expensive right now but anyway my number five benefit for students who study in lithuania or are studying in lithuania is the post-study visa that you get so a post-study visa permit that is issued to you after your studies that allows you to find a job in lithuania the time frame that you get after your studies is one year and three months and i think this time is actually really really great it gives you the opportunity to decide do i want to further my studies maybe you did bachelor studies right then you decide oh maybe i want to do my master's or then within that time you can look for a job most of the students are able to find jobs within that time because we have more international companies now in lithuania even though with the cost of things i hope that those international companies don't start moving out because that's really why they came here because of the affordable cost of labor but now with the prices of things going up i hope that those international companies don't move out to other countries but you get one year and three months post-study uh, residence permits to be able to look for a job and in that time if you find a job then that company obviously takes you in and then they start providing you the documents so i think that's such a good benefit because some universities not some universities but some countries don't have a post-study uh, visa or document for their students so after your studies they tell you oh yeah pack and go pack and go i actually have a video that i filmed you know and that video is about how to be prepared how to get your first job if you do the things that i said in those videos you would be prepared that even before that one year i actually never used that one year post-study visa because before i even finished studying i already had a job that i was working i never waited i never used it I, I, for my bachelor's for my master's i never used that post-study visa but if you're in the position that you use it able to use it and look for a job after your study so i think that's brilliant because it's not something that all the countries offer but you have it and you'll be able to utilize it to find a job but six benefit is the best like i saved the best for the last the opportunity to work as a student and to work after your studies guys this is so important because previously in lithuania you could not work as a student in lithuania like you could not do that like you were only able to work four hours you could you could have worked only four hours if you're studying but your masters or your bachelors but now bachelor students can work four hours a day uh, during their studies and master students can work full-time and i think that's just amazing phd students obviously can work full-time it's been like that for them and i think it's that's such a great opportunity because if you're working and you want to make like funds or you want to like, have like different experience just to have like stipends coming here and there you can actually work as a student and make some money to take care of yourself pay your house rent or like buy food and things like that or support yourself in any way and then after your studies because you have that post-study visa then you can also be able to get a job and work in lithuania it doesn't mean you stay in lithuania forever but at least you'll be you'll be able to you know relax like take your time do uh, have a job experience and then decide what is your next line of action because some countries you know don't offer post-study visa they like i said they tell you pack and go and some of them give you six months and within that time you cannot find a job if you follow the steps that i shared in my how to get your first job in europe you will certainly get a job before you finish your studies here in lithuania okay i'm gonna just add a bonus 
uh, advantage of studying in Lithuania is that they get scholarships. Previously, guys, this was not a, a benefit because Lithuania was not offering scholarships previously. But now, international students can get scholarship in Lithuania. The options that they have for scholarships is if you're doing well in school, the school starts to pay you stipend or cover your tuition fees. Before you even come to Lithuania, you can apply to get scholarship, full tuition waived scholarship, and you can get that as a student. So I think that's my my bonus benefit for now for students who will come to Lithuania or who are currently studying in Lithuania. So a little bit of hard work here and there, and you can apply for those scholarships as an international student. So those are the benefits that you get. I want to know if you're watching this video right now and you've been living in Lithuania, you studied anywhere in Europe, what are benefits that people can get if they study in your country? And if you live in Lithuania, what are benefits that people can get? Maybe I didn't mention it, but you see that this is a benefit and I didn't mention it. Please comment below so that other people can actually know what they have access to if they come to Lithuania. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you like this video. Please comment, please like, please share this video and let me know what you thought about it and you know ask your questions if you have any in the comment section i want to wish you all a wonderful day a wonderful afternoon a wonderful evening and have a good day guys goodbye